You know what, Henderson? You the real MVP. Is Sharna from Pay Her Waits, and today I'm going to be reviewing Black Lightning episode 11 Black Jesus, the Book of Crucifixion. And first and foremost, before I get into this review, two snaps and a congrats to Black Lightning. They were just renewed for a season two. Duh, we knew it was going to happen because the show, you know what? At first, I was getting a little tired of the show, but then at these last couple episodes, I'm back in it. I'm back in my game. I'm like recording the episode review on time. Y'all ain't got to wait like five days later after the episode and air. Like, I'm getting my life together, okay? I'm here for this. So, also, too, I want to make sure I go ahead and apologize to you guys up front because I'm going to look like ish for the next couple of days because this pollen is really getting to me still. My right eye has been twitching for two days straight, and I can't seem to find a good pollen medication to take that's alleviating any of these symptoms the only thing I can alleviate is being able to breathe out of my nose at this point in time so I'm just letting you know for the rest of the week I'm gonna look like crap and I apologize I'll be back to hopefully fingers crossed prayers up and I'll be back to my normal looking self next week so let's get into it so we see at the beginning of the episode that um Black Lightning and Thunder, they're going to basically look at some of these buildings that the a ASA has. So I guess they're still looking for the bodies that they hid from the last episode. And they're working with Gambit this time. So I guess right now, you know, they're going to work together to get this done. And so in the midst of them looking for the bodies that Gambit saw, they actually end up finding an armory um, with weapons that are used uh, to help kill Black Lightning. And so Black Lightning destroys that, makes the ASA mad. So the ASA tell Kara, oh, shady, thirsty, behind, can't stand her. Tell her shady behind that she needs to go ahead and get rid of Jefferson because they think that Jefferson is Black Lightning. And she's like, y'all, he ain't Black Lightning, y'all. He not. Just stop it. I know him for years. That's not him. And so basically, they were like, I don't care. So you need to take care of that. And so she pays these two dirty runner cops, the ones that we've been seeing all season, who ain't ish. Basically, she pays them to plant drugs drugs on him and admits all of that before she's dealing with the issue because she sees that the bodies keep turning up uh dead because they moved them twice I don't know if they have to be in some type of climate and not touch but we see that they lose another one which means that she's probably going to end up having to go out and scout for more uh young metas and so basically um we see that you know Jefferson is back at the school he's telling everybody hey everybody good morning good morning children okay have a great day and so I should have known that something bad was going to happen because he's leading his mentoring session um, with a young group of men which I love that they are keeping it going from last week when he was mentoring Willie and we knew that they weren't going to be able to get any mantras in because the 5-0 shows up okay and then they go to Jefferson's car and of course we see the dirty cops plant the green light in his car they go to arrest him they say hey we found all this green light he likes sir you know that ain't mine it's not mind okay like what are you talking about and so the dude pulled out a gun like hey are you resisting arrest and he was like what and he was like I'm not resisting arrest don't shoot and I was just like man I already knew it was gonna be one of them episodes okay and so in the episode we see that they really um looked at police brutality police corruption you know how living in communities where it's already infested with drugs and violence and how we depend on the police to help save us but what happens when those police are now out here to save us that they're just as corrupt they're just as dirty they're not trying to do anything to help the community so this is one of the things that i really appreciate about black lightning is the fact that they go out of their way to tie in reality into this kind of into this not so real world and so we see that um Anissa and Jennifer they catch one of it Anissa uh was about to like she was like <gasps> and now he's like Anissa no and then Jennifer was doing a little author fist because she's about to set somebody she's about to show some thunder okay and so um actually no she thunder yeah she thunder no, that's Anissa. My bad, y'all. Don't judge me, okay? I got it mixed up. I'm tired. My eye twitching. I just can't. But yeah, they was about to go in on the 5-0. I was like, y'all better stop because y'all better be lucky that Jefferson told his daughters to calm down because it's about to be something. Then we see the student and he tried to stop them. Like, I know you're not about to take my principal out here. And then we told him like, hey, I don't want to see another young black man in cuffs today. I was like, oh, y'all be killing me with these lines because it was so true. But I love the fact that how they stood behind him, like that shows how, why he has the nickname Black Jesus, why so many people look up to him in the community. Like he really puts his blood, sweat, and tears into these young ch children, into this community to make sure that it's better. And so I really enjoy that part of the episode when everyone is still rallying behind him, even though he's been accused of selling drugs. 
And so I know, can I get people to rally behind me like this when Sally may be coming for me, putting me in instant jail once a month with my Sally loan payments? I'm just saying, Anonymous, where are you to hack Sally May? Thanks. Random thought. Back to the review. Okay. So we see him. He gets arrested. He is taken to the jail station. We see him go through, like, either beating him, talking to him crazy, doing a cavity search. You see that he, like, a couple of times he had to check himself, like, Lord, please don't let me go black lightning on him. And so it's just crazy to see all of this because it's just a shame that this is the reality for so, so many of us. And half of the people, they don't even deserve it. They're not even guilty. It's just crazy as to what we go through you know, kind of today. And I, that's why I appreciate them being so real about everything. And so you see that Henderson's trying to figure out why in the heck are y'all doing this? He like checked on dude and on dude was like, you know what, just make sure, you know, I would hate to see you get hurt. So he threatened to him. And then I'm just like, Henderson, I know you ain't gonna go out like that. And so we see that Henderson trying to figure out what's going on. He's trying to ask Jefferson, like, what are you not telling me? Like, I know you're not telling me something. What is it? And I'm thinking, okay, Jefferson's gonna tell him that he black like him, but he doesn't. And I'm happy that he doesn't because I mean, he cares for Henderson. He doesn't want to see him get in trouble. His family's already in hiding. He can't take losing anybody else because of who he is. And so it's funny because you see Link um, show up and how she's treated because the lady like, well, you his ex-wife, so I can't help you. And then basically Henderson finds her and he's like, hey, you know, I'm going to take care of him. You trust me, right? And Lynn was like, hell no, I don't trust you. She didn't say hell no. But she was like, no, I don't trust you. But my husband does. So I'm a, I know that you're going to take care of this. I was like, Lynn, you ain't right. But I love you still. But yeah, so Henderson, what does Henderson do, y'all? Henderson come through. He came through. What do you know from every movie? You follow the money and follow the money he did. Because then he figured out them two dirty cops had a large sum of money and started paying off all these bills. And no, the police ain't making them type of coins. And so he's able to get one of the dudes to talk. He gets Jefferson out. Jefferson is free. And then he still has time to take down the two dirty cops. And what happens? He gets a promotion, y'all. Henderson gets a promotion. You. That's why you the MVP of this episode. That's why you all right with me okay you all right with me and he becomes deputy chief and then all is well in the world he he is exonerated jefferson is exonerated he can go back to being uh black lightning because gamby comes up with this brilliant plan to create a hologram version of jefferson as black lightning running with Alyssa, and it actually works and they get everyone to think that black lightning is still out and then kira try to send him a message like hey it's not him can we go ahead and release him and they're like no stick to your job and I was like y'all why are you doing this like you gonna let this innocent man like rot in jail because like he just happened not to be a part of what was going on so I was like that was really dirty but I was like I expected that's what happens and so basically all is well again he's getting along with them he comes over they praying over the pizza they eating as a family he like look I know you still looking out for my family things not right between us but you know we just got to make it work for the time being Whew. I'm tired y'all I'm tired okay so those are my thoughts on the episode 11, Black Jesus, Book of Crooks, Crucifixion. As always, my name is Sharonda from Pay or Wait. And if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I will see you soon.